Yep. Let's go. What's up, Santi? Man, you first start to start the season and with a win. Describe your excitement just going there and being able to produce at this level in a tight competitive game. Yeah, I mean, like I always say, it's the work. But, you know, I was locked in. I knew, you know, they were, they were a good team. So, you know, just tried to play good defense. Obviously, on offense, just be ready to shoot. And, you know, I think we did a good job just moving the ball like we always do and getting stops down the stretch especially. So, yeah, I mean, I was, I was excited, obviously, first start. And, and yeah, I mean, it, it was a great feeling, but it was even better to get, get the win. You know, that's, that's always how we finish games. Santi, you got that dunk on on, on Julius Randle, and I mean that's the most emotion I've seen you show, you know, in a while. Uh, just why was that moment so special to you? Besides, you know, being at that point in the game, and two, what did the referee say to you? Like, why did you get the uh, technical foul? What was the explanation given to you? Yeah, so um, you know, I, I dunked, and you know, I think he hit me a bit, but you know, I was just hype. Obviously, the crowd was great, like it always is, and you know, I was just screaming. And you know he thought I was screaming at him. You know I was just I was just hyped, so I was flexing. Um, but <laughs> but yeah, you know he he told me he came to me. He was like you were shouting at him. That's why I called it. And you know I I just told him like I understand. You know obviously it may have seen seemed that way, but you know I was like I, I wasn't directing it towards him. It was just you know I was I was excited and we you know it's, it's things happen. So yeah, it, it was all good. You know at the end of the day it was it was a good dunk. So so I'm happy for it. <laughs> Uh, Santi, just um, tonight you were tasked with being the primary defender on Julius Randle. Ja credited your defense on him. Just what's your mentality on guarding a guy like that who kind of blends his physicality with his shiftiness inside? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the main things I've been working on. But, yeah, like you said, he's very physical. He's, you know, a big body. So, like, yeah, it was, you know, more about knowing his game, you know, watch a lot of film and, you know, just knowing his tendencies and, you know, just being ready to absorb contact. It's not easy, but, you know, I think I did a pretty good job overall. And, you know, it helps when you have shifts and then people helping you out. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's team defense. And, you know, the more they help me out, the easier it is for me. So, so yeah, I mean, he's he's a great player. So, you know, it's, it's always tough to guard guys like that. But, you know, that's that's the goal. Last year was a development year for you for the most part. Is it satisfying at all, though, that now your first start comes on national TV and some of the people who may not have known who you were before tonight were, were able to see you play, you know, so well in your in your first start? Yeah, I mean, this, you know, this is what I play for. You know, I'm that, that's what I've been working for, you know, uh, bought in, you know, uh, last year and, you know, just bought into what's coming. So. So yeah, I mean it's it's great to play a national TV game. You know we got way more this year, and, and you know just at the end of the day, it's just like no matter who you play, when you play, it's just giving your best. So, so yeah, that's I think that's what we do as Grizzlies uh, players, and and that's what we're gonna keep doing. I don't know. I, I haven't checked my phone. I just you know I was just texting with my family. I had the lift, so you know I'm, I haven't checked it yet, but probably. Santi, so. Um, Going back to your family, obviously they're very proud of you. Um, what are you expecting that phone call when you call them later on tonight? What are you expecting them to say on the other end? Oh, uh, maybe tomorrow. They're, they're, they're asleep already. You know, they, they texted me. They were like, you know, uh, they told me maybe they were going to watch the whole game, maybe not. But they, they were like, we couldn't go to sleep. We, we had to watch the whole game. So And it was overtime. So, you know, it's probably, I don't know what time it is, but it's probably like 5 a.m. there. So, you know, I, they're for sure happy, but they're not going to be as happy tomorrow morning when they got to wake up. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, but for sure happy for me and looking forward to calling them tomorrow and speaking with them for a bit. Hey, Santa, I know your locker room is real competitive. I know John's trying to get a body. You get the first poster of the year. Are you going to hold that over the guy's head until they get one, man? Nah, nah, I'm good. You know, maybe maybe with Steve-O, you know. You know, I, he, he always gives me a little bit of, you know, so just maybe with Steve-O. Any final questions? Thanks, Andy. All right, appreciate it, guys.